Here's the latest videos, folks. Basically, every video needs to be watched because all the way back there's 500 of them. 500 flipping videos. Basically, I got another site. Uh, YouTube will probably be, always be the one that I'll probably be able to get the most. But basically, I've got a comment one uh, channel now. To be able to comment and stuff. You could do that at my other one, my Super Giants main sequence, and the link on that is basically here on YouTube all the time. But basically, these are the most recent videos, and you basically need to check out the stuff I started showing you here first. But there's plenty all the way through. I've got tons of information. It's pretty much been an ongoing two years of the start of what's going on in space and and all this action that we've been getting lately, earthquakes, weather, so there's tons, I've got 500 plus videos and I'm just basically going to show you a bunch of uh, data off the sun tonight real fast and I'll throw my uh, channel, other channel that I've got on another place and it's going to take a while to put in the info, info and everything in there but no matter what we had a wild action at the sun tonight. Wild action at the sun tonight. So it doesn't really show on the X-ray flare, but that uh, wave of energy that I showed you that was coming by did some wild stuff to the sun. As you can say with this data here. Solar wind speeds up. And you're going to see that we got, uh, we're in the red on our polar, just starting in on our polar angle in the red. Latest shot of the sun. There's a CME blast that comes off the sun. So, anyway, the latest and greatest on the data here. I gave you the graphs already. So, as you see, this is sun is scarring pretty darn good. And as you see, there the very interesting stuff going on with the sun. As you can see, there are layers. I had stuff blacked out on Lasco. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and pop us into Lasco again here real fast. Take you across on these shots of the sun. So, that was very interesting there. In fact, we're going to look at that real fast. Pop it down here to the... And along with that other video that I showed you, basically my most recent, and then you get this action at the sun, recently also. So... Sun knocked off a big old peel. So, make sure you check out. So, make sure you check out the latest here. This is some really stunning footage here, and we've been following that comment. So, we'll have it nailed down to exactly what it is here pretty soon. So, check out the latest videos here. And then also, basically, I'll be ended up putting everything. Everything will get locked in over at uh, my other new site here. And here we are, folks. And basically, we better hope that this is all that this is. This is just a comment. As you can see that. And pretty, I'm pretty damn positive that that's all this is. Is basically just the comments got caught. And you can see how huge it was. Basically, uh, the head could be smaller. It's off at a... But it's close to the camera, you see. So it ends up giving us, and this is Venus, okay, and this should be Jupiter somewhere along on this, I mean, uh, Mercury somewhere on, along on this line here. But this is still interesting, too, that this will end up, this keeps on getting larger in our view. So, but no matter what, fresh shot, that is a flipping, the comet coming by. So that's the freshest I got. I'm going to try to see it sechi. But no matter what, I wanted to show the data, and then I just popped over here and got this. Let me go see how much of it shows up on the regular shot, the colorization shot from uh, 
basically what we're looking at is a ace one ace h1 two high two ace ahead and we'll have to wait for the movies but as you can see that's pretty much comet action so you can see that this thing was a long ways away from venus and then you can see on the compressor how huge it looks because it's up close to the other shot so either that or they zoomed out on this but that's venus that should be Venus. As you see, they zoomed in real good, and they're out of the the sun's way over here to the right. And that should not be Mercury. That should be Venus. And if I'm wrong and it's Mercury, then it'll be doesn't really matter too much. We know Venus and Mercury are somewhat in the same quadrant in space. Okay, but that sure should more than likely be uh, Venus. And then that comet going by. So pretty dramatic action. A lot of earthquake action, and that's your mag on this line here. There's 6.2 magnitude Aleutian Islands up in Alaska. And a lot of earthquake action there in Alaska. And then we'll scroll down the whole page too, but I'll show you the rest of the earthquake data here for the day. So far, I mean, this is just recently I've been, I've been doing some internet work. So. You can always freeze and watch on full screen. See how many pages we had from the 14th. There's all your action from Baja, California area. And yep, your eyes ain't feeling you. It's 6.7 it hit out there, not 6.3. Okay. And you can see that depth on that is 36 kilometers. So they are definitely hiding cover trying to make the quakes seem softer than what they are. It's ridiculous how soft they're making the quakes look. USGS. They think they're, and they're not. So let's see if we got, how many, what do we, how many more pages we got of the 14th. Come on, baby. And then we're working into the 13th, so almost three pages. So we'll see if we get a decent movie here on the beacon here. And as you can see, there's something out there on that comet there with it. Might be part of it, but then again, it might just be a planet out there. It was up above Venus. So that's pretty much the comet. And like I say, you turn this around, turn this behind shot around flip it up inside out because basically this is mercury more than likely as you see this is venus barely here and you can see just a little bit of somewhat of this here action off that shot looks like this should be venus here and this is mercury there it's just they're shooting all the way from behind instead of on ace ahead which is closer it always looks big when stuff is closer to the head and they zoomed in and took Mercury here, they took Mercury completely out of the shot and zoomed in on that comet action there. So let's go see what we got for a video on this. Because the latest we had was from the 12th and today is the 15th, so we'll see if we can sneak in and get the 13th, but I don't think it's going to be uploaded yet. So this is the same what I showed you in my video already, so go watch that. The, mo the main thing is this big mass of energy that's coming by and it's way bigger than the sun. As you can see this energy wave coming just like oh, almost completely wiping out what the sun's doing there. And as you can see the arc of it is hella large. So crazy stuff going on out there. Up in space. As you can see that wave looks way bigger than the sun wild. So we're going to be nice to see footage of this in the future. And I can't blow it up. I can. I could do it on magnifier, but there's really nothing. This is behind. They don't. We don't get much to see from behind right now. A little bit of something interesting here on this magnetic line there. So we'll pop up the magnifier. I don't got time to figure out what we should be seeing on that from behind. 
But it's something streaking something out. Come on, magnifier. I'm gonna get a little better look of it. It's not playing, but it basically, when it was, you could see that this is doing something here. So it's kind of hard to tell if that's basically uh, It's kind of hard to f flip and find out what that is. So basically, it's right, right there, and you can watch this action here. Something. It's definitely something. So anyhow, we'll check on the watch on that later. Figure out what what's was there behind behind. The only thing I got for a fresh movie is going through the 15th of a big CME coming off. So, definitely some objects that they were been blocking on some of the pictures too. So, and basically you'll see it here show up. There's something that ends up being there. So, I got a pictures. This interesting planet showed up, which basically the only thing I could have figured it could have been would have might have been Pluto, or something like that, because uh, that's the only thing that was supposed to have been back there. And then Mars, and it shouldn't have been Mars because it was just you know poof. So let me get a date and time on this. I think I got another shot because this is the sun to the left, and nothing was supposed to be back here except for Mars. The only thing that was supposed to have been back there was Mars, or possibly Pluto. And yep, I did get the date and time. So on the 11th, that's planet popped up and showed up and was able to be seen and then I can zoom in on this real fast. I don't have it on paint but you still should get a pretty good zoom in. And come on. Here's one I don't mess with my finger and that's what it was. It was there. I found that bugger. So that's very interesting. Okay. Because the only thing that should have been back there would have been and even if it's a star, and they, they actually have been blocking a little bit of something out today too. On and basically underdevelop here, but we'll stock all the videos over here at Power Video, Power Video Tube. I don't know if it's the same company or not. Powered by Google Translate, so it's a Google product. So anyhow, we'll be over here storing all the movies, uh, basically actual factual data from space. Okay. So and I'll change the background every once in a while. I'll probably let you know on YouTube when I have changed the background so you know no one's messing with it. And then I'm going to get another one going uh, over on the Super Giants too and get something updated on that. This is a rare shorter than 15 minute video. I just wanted to show you the data on the sun. It was kind of important. Big spikes.